Hey, good morning. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Rise and shine. Today is my Friday. We got tomorrow off. Got my coffee in hand here. I hope you all have your coffee or your favorite morning beverage and enjoy a cup with me. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, I did my pork chops last night on my grill in the blustery fall weather that we have going on here, and uh, they turned out just awesome, all right? I seasoned them with uh, some uh, garlic pepper, all right? That's a, I believe it's a McCormick uh, brand. And then I got some uh, soul seasoning. Sharon will be happy to hear that. And I seasoned them up real nice, both sides, let them sit for a little while, got them to room temperature, all right? And then I put them on my grill and got my nice little grill marks in there and uh, had a, a salad with my balsamic vinegar and that was my dinner. Oh, and a little glass of red wine. It was pretty good. So, um, here's my rant for today. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I have a, a friend that um, works on a program uh, that uh, helps people that need rides to uh, their uh, to the hospitals, to the to the doctors' offices, things like that. All right. Um, for whatever reason, they don't have a car. Or, um, they can't afford to drive, or they don't have a license. So this uh, this program, this is all paid by us, the taxpayers. Okay. Well, this friend was uh, telling me um, that uh, there are more times than not these people that are on these programs, they do no shows. All right. They'll call ahead of time to set the program up, and, uh, to set the ride up. All right. And uh, whether it be um, uh, the bus company down there in uh, Pottsville, I guess it is, or uh, sometimes uh, um, the uh, ambulance service, all right? They'll do it. And this is not cheap uh, to get these kind of uh, rides for these people. Well, um, the ambulance service or even the taxi service, let's say, they'll go to pick these people up, and it's a no-show. They just won't... Uh, go. They don't call or nothing, right? Now, they do have uh, something set up where if you do this a couple times, uh, then you get uh, um, put on probation, if you want to call it that, where they can't get a ride for six months or however long it is. I don't know. Um, they were hoping that that would help. Nah, that doesn't help either in most cases. Um, but th there was this one incident, right? This person uh, scheduled a ride to go see their family doctor, all right? Now, this is what irks me. <laughs> and this person was a no-show, right? Uh, the transportation come over to their house to pick them up, and apparently uh, um, they don't get out of the, their vehicle to go to the door, unless you're in a wheelchair, from what I understand. And I could be wrong about that. But uh, all they do is toot the horn, or you got to be ready, you know, start looking out your window and, when you see the vehicle pull up, boom, you go out there, you get in, and they take you, all right? Well, uh, this one individual didn't go outside, didn't do nothing. Uh, the transportation uh, person sat there for a good 15 minutes or so, waited, and I guess then they got to call their dispatcher up and say, hey, look, there's nobody here. What do you want me to do? Well, how long did he wait? Uh, about 15 minutes. Did he toot the horn? Yeah, I tooted the horn. Okay, forget it. Come on back. But... Um, they still get billed. Us, all right? The taxpayers still have to pay this. And uh, so this individual called again, I guess, to set up. And um, the person on the other end of the phone said, Well, we tried to pick you up the other day. You were a no-show. Well, yeah, because I didn't feel good. I was sick. Well, there's the clincher right there. Really? You didn't feel good. You were sick. But the appointment was to go and see your family doctor. Now, what's wrong with that statement and that picture? Really? 
That's my rant for today. <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to put some coffee down, and I'm going to hit the road here. I hope you guys have a great day today. I'll talk to you later on. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be good foot, football weather for uh, Williams Valley, for the athletes. Okay, it's going to be like 22 degrees and blustery, I guess, tomorrow evening. All right. But the fans, if they're going to be sitting out there on those bleachers, oh, you better wrap yourself up nice and warm. All right. We got some nasty weather coming in. And I'm going to look at a camper on Saturday in this kind of weather. You know, the, the atmosphere just is not going to be there. <laughs> All right, folks, have a great day today. My buddy's down here. He's laying down there. He's in position. He's ready to watch the house for the dad. Okay, do something nice for someone today, all right? Help somebody out if you can, all right? Tell your family members, your friends, your relatives, your neighbors that you appreciate them and you love them, all right? Because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. All right, folks, I'll talk to you later on. Keep on smiling. God bless the United States of America. I love you guys. <laughs>